Hey guys, welcome to Fight Focus, where I'll be giving you my thoughts on how new features being added into future Star Citizen updates will affect dogfighting in the PU. So I just got finished watching ATV's feature on the new 3.0 cockpit experience and want to give my thoughts and opinions on how it's going to affect us. The three main features are interactive cockpits, hit force reactions and ship damage indication. So let's look at how that will affect us dogfighters. Interactive Cockpits so Interactive Cockpit brings a lot of immersion to the game and for the most part I am hyped for them. However, they are going to have quite an impact for us, mainly in the form of extended combat ready times. So let's say you're parked at Korea and you're out of your ship. Your orgmate puts out a call that he is under attack and needs your help. Right now you'd run over to your ship, hit F and trigger the canopy and the animation plays to get in. You wait a few seconds for the ship to sort itself out and off you go to join the fight. So now with the new cockpit interactions, inner thought system and ISM 2.0 features, this is going to change and increase the time it takes to get into the fight. For the information we have been given, it will go something like this. Run to your ship, stop and hit F, select drop ladder, wait, select open canopy, wait, select enter ship, wait. Already way more to do. Once in the cockpit, you're going to need to close the canopy, find the switch to power up the ship, turn the engines on, select your power mode and who knows what else. So I'm of two minds about this. I love it, don't get me wrong. The immersion is amazing and I hope for long and complex startup procedures, especially for the larger multi-crew ships. But on the other hand, getting into your ship and combat ready is going to be a pain and take a lot longer than it does right now, which isn't great for getting out to the fight and even worse if you're being pad camped. Hit force reactions. Knowing where you're getting hit from right now is pretty much impossible, so some sort of indication is essential. Hit force reactions will help us with this, but I can see it possibly doing more harm than good. As of right now in 263, getting hit jolts your character around really badly, which can be pretty off-putting if you're trying to engage a different target while taking hits from behind. Adding in your player model jolting around in whatever direction you are being hit from could make this even worse. Sure, you'll know where you're being hit from, but it's going to make landing shots on your current target very difficult. Again, this is a double-edged sword. On the one hand, it'll make hitting another target while taking fire difficult, but on the other hand, and in this situation you should probably be disengaging your target and dealing with whoever is on your tail. Ship damage indication. Oh my god, we have needed this feature since the original DFM release, and I'm very pleased to see that it will be implemented. Right now, the only way to tell how damaged your ship is, is to look down at your MFDs. This can be difficult, especially in high G maneuvers, when G-force effects make them difficult to see, or the MFDs are off screen when pitching your ship hard. I don't see any real downsides to this feature. It's going to really help dogfighters' situational awareness. You will have to learn its quirks and be able to guess how close you are to destruction, which is great. Our ships will be talking to us, and we are going to need to listen and learn what they are saying in order to get out of dogfights alive. Let's hope that none of the effects are going to obscure our sight so bad that we bail before we get the kill. So that's my thoughts and opinions. Obviously, some of you will agree, some of you won't. And that's great. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. So feel free to comment below. That's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out my Twitch channel for some pirate PvP action in the PU and Star Citizen discussion. Check out my Twitter for more info on when I'm live. Have a good one, boys. I'm out.